President, and, uh, Mr. President, today is not a shining example of the work of uh, the Senate, and it's not a day that uh, we can hold up as an example of uh, this, this uh, Senate chamber operating at its finest. And I'm a great believer in our parliamentary democracy. I believe that uh, this, this forum is a, a, a centre point for the, the nation's uh, debate on very, very important matters. Uh, unfortunately, today we saw that uh, uh, this, the reputation of the Senate uh, being traduced. Now, I want to particularly highlight the fact that the Centre Alliance uh, Party, uh, in its performance today, certainly did not live up to the, to the uh, goals and aspirations of its founder, uh, Sen former Senator Nick Xenophon. Uh, we all had our differences with uh, Senator Xenophon in terms of his uh, policy positions on a range of matters, but there was always one thing that former Senator Xenophon was very, very strict on, and that was that he would not support the gag. He understood that this, this place is uh, uh, a forum for debate. It's a, a forum for trying to uh, fully explore all of the issues that need to be looked at, whether it comes to bills or whether it's uh, important matters of the day. Uh, former Senator Xenophon was, uh, was a stickler for ensuring that uh, the proper processes were observed when it came to debate. So it is uh, extremely disappointing to find that the Centre Alliance uh, senators uh, did not live up to that, uh, uh, to that aspiration of, uh, of their party. And I think, uh, I would hazard a guess as to say that that will probably count against them uh, when uh, next they, they face the people. Now, it's also very disappointing that we saw uh, Senator Hanson in her position and uh, as a senator from Queensland, I know that uh, there are many Queenslanders uh, in certain parts of the state who see Senator Hanson as uh, a person that uh, reflects some of their views and, uh, uh, and perhaps reflects some of the disaffection that uh, voters have with, uh, with major parties. So it is extremely disappointing to find that uh, Senator Hanson uh, on this occasion has decided to vote with the, uh, the, the government. But it's not surprising in one sense because we know that uh, from Senator Hanson's track record that uh, she has voted with the government uh, uh, getting around 90 per cent of the time. It's probably, I haven't looked at the statistics recently but uh, that's, that's the sort of uh, uh, level that we're talking about. That's not something that the average Queensland voter is well aware of. And I'm sure that uh, that's something that they're about to become very much aware of. And so what we want to see in this place is proper process applying. We want to see the committees operating as they should. We want to see fulsome debate, particularly when we're talking about things such as a, a, um, a bill, which is uh, uh, of the order of $144 billion in terms of uh, loss of revenue to the Commonwealth. I get the point that the, this is... Uh, uh, money of the people in terms of their, their income tax, and, uh, but uh, we are talking about the issue of, of, of uh, the budget of the Commonwealth. This is, has a major impact on the finances of the Commonwealth. It was only four short years ago when this uh, government was, uh, was talking about the debt and deficit disaster and that uh, we had to have a, uh, all sorts of uh, swathing cuts or to, uh, to uh, affecting vulnerable people, but now we see that's gone out the, the window. We see the, the fact that uh, gross debt has crashed through the $500 billion mark. Uh, we're seeing that uh, handouts being given to the top end of town. They do not respect our right to debate this, these important issues. The actions of the government uh, today have been deplorable. What I say is that we need to have an election. We want to bring on an election. We need a Labor government to restore fairness to this country. We need a Labor government to restore fairness to this chamber, a government that will, will respect the, uh, the proper processes to ensure that the, the people have uh, all of these issues properly ventilated and we come out with a, a proper process here.